Also in Abuja, Nigerian military authorities say operations are ongoing to make the federal capital territory safer. The director of the Defense Media Operations, Major General Benado Yeko, who also disclosed to what transpired when troops encountered terrorists near the law school inquiry, assures residents of improved security. Sifone Sien has details. Recent security breaches coupled with reports of plans by terrorists to attack Abuja continue to put security forces on edge. Patrols have been stepped up just as more troops have been deployed in strategic locations. At this news conference, the Nigerian military authorities provide some explanation. Armed forces of Nigerian security agencies wishes to reassure Nigerians of its community, of its commitment and determination to provide security for its citizens. With the recent operations carried out between 23rd and is still ongoing, we wish to assure the Abuja residents in particular that we are undaunted and we are unrelenting in our efforts to ensure the safety of lives and property. People should go about their normal businesses as their safety is assured. He also delves into troops' recent encounter with terrorists near the law school in Buari on the outskirts of Abuja. Troops of 7 Guards Battalion and 1 in 7 Special Forces Battalion in conjunction with the air component of Operation Wild Punch, conducted clearance patrols around Boar general area between 24 and 26 July, two successfully cleared Kau and Ido villages. Consequently, about 30 terrorists were neutralized after the bombardment, and their enclaves and hideouts were destroyed. The military's account of the incident raises more questions in the wake of a condolence message by the governor of Kogi State, commiserating with families of two officers of the Gaz Brigade said to have died as a result of the encounter. See Fon ACN TVC News, Abuja.